students i hope everyone is well on your home so the today recipe one of the best recipe in our first vegetable menu the, that is a potas we can say the today we learn in the cream the ajubai uh, so that is the cauliflower soup i will show you the ingredients which are required of making this soup so first we require that is a main key ingredients is a cauliflower you can say in a french term is a dubery and i already prepare vegetable stock so this one is a vegetable stock and the rest ingredients we required milk for tempering we required butter Uh, as a thickening, we can add refined flour. You can also use in potato as well. But the today recipe, we can use refined flour. And the rest ingredients, we use spring onion. You can say the salads. Chopped garlic. And seasoning. Salt. white paper powder and for garnish we can use a uh, fresh cream and fresh parsley we can use as a garnish so these are the ingredients which are required of making a uh, cream the adu uh, berry so let's start i will show you the further process So first, I'm going to add butter. So I'm going to add butter. So first, melt the butter in a bowl. So now the butter is getting a melt. So now the timing is ready for garlic. So we just reduce the moisture of the garlic. We don't extra burn. You know, when you burn in a continental cooking, we can just reduce the moisture. We don't extra burn. Now the timing is adding for onion. Mix well together. We don't extra burn, guys. We just reduce the moisture of the onion. Make sure the gas flame is low. Now the timing is adding for refined flour. We can use approximately one tablespoon. Mix well together. By adding a refined flour, you can work in a as a thickening agent. So now the timing is adding for stock in this mixture, and also we can add a few cauliflower, and we will cook together all mixture when the our cauliflower is a tenderized. So when you add stock, so directly you can add cauliflower, and we will cook together at least uh, 20 to 25 minutes, so that your veggies are good tenderize and mix well. So guys, time to time you can check your cauliflower is cooked or not. No, it will take more time as 10 to 15 minutes or most. So 
guys you can see now the broccoli is uh, centralized now it will take 5 minutes more approximately is a uh, 90% is cooked so now guys you can check the cauliflower is cooked and not cooked now we will check I will break with the half finger spoon so now guys you can see now the almost is done so now the timing is a uh, grinding if you having a uh, hand mixer so you can use a hand mixer otherwise you can use a grinder mixing grinder so now the timing is a uh, grinding so we will put all mixture in the grinder and we will grind So almost is a uh, whole mixture become in a thick and smooth paste. So now we're gonna reboil with the helping of seasoning, salt and pepper. From the gas. Uh, so the gas whole puree mixture in a bowl. Then I am going to add milk Then add seasoning, salt Then white paper powder and we will mix well with the helping of lead so we will cook till our first boil guys So now you can see now the bubbling is start. You can see the consistency of this soup. It is a very thick consistency. So now the timing is a plating. So now switch off the gas. Now you can see the presentation of the cream de dewberry. Now I am going to add. So it is cut off broccoli. So it is the Florence cut off broccoli. As a garnish we can use on the top of this soup. to add fresh cream for garnish and lastly we can add fresh parsley on the top of this soup. And you can serve whole with spoon. So this is the presentation of the cream de dewberry. So guys I hope you well understood while watching this video and you can try on your home. 
So thank you so much guys for this recipe.